Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 699, primarily in a row. It's pretty cool, huh? Kind of proud of that. Anyway, uh, happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. My name's Rob Hoback, and uh, it's a terrific Tuesday, which is our weekly reminder that if you believe you're going to have a good day, you say it out loud and you're prepared for when the nonsense comes to you. Like, Not today, my friend. It is a terrific Tuesday. Power of positive thinking which was very difficult for me to say at the end of uh, yesterday's Daily Discipline. Nonetheless, it is uh, September 15th, 2020. It's a work day. I got plenty of work to do. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. First things first, still the realist. You know what else I am? I'm in control, right? Let's talk about control, right? Um, and what I'm talking about is I am in control of my emotions or myself most of the time, much better than I was a couple years ago, right? Um and for me, it starts with my emotions, right? Um, those are the, the most difficult thing uh, for me to deal with. And then I would tell you that as far as controlling myself, then there are some habits, some eating, right? Uh, just some other things. I don't need to tell everybody everything, but just some personal things that I could do a better job of managing myself. And every single one of them starts right up here, right? So the real talk today is to learn to control yourself first, right? Like everybody wants to be in control. Everybody wants to be in charge. And I was talking to one of the coaches about this last week is that, you know, whether you're playing football, whether it's a logistics company, one of the coaches is, a, I believe, a dentist, you know, another guy's a database administrator. Here's some common truth, right? Like you'll have people on your team, whatever that team is, right? Maybe it's part of your family and they just can't seem to get out of their own way. They can't seem to manage themselves. And when they're confronted, they're like, hey, hey, can we talk about why that's so difficult for you? Usually the answer is, well, if you would give me more responsibility, if you give me more control, then you'd see a better result because I can't get done this little bitty thing you've asked me to do. But if you let me be in charge of everything, you're going to get a better result. Like, wait, what? Right? Like that doesn't make any sense. If you can't take care of the little things, how can you be in charge of the big things? But that's how some people think, right? And I've been there myself. I've been in a position like, well, if you give me, if you broaden my span of control, you'd get a better result. No. Focus on, learn to control yourself first, right? And so, uh, yeah, this was just an example because of football, right? And th there was a football case yesterday. Uh, there was a work case. Just how many times people, think about it, in your day, a lot of your annoyances, right? The times that another human being's like, man, that person drives me crazy. It's their inability to control themselves. Oh, well, you know, like I had this work thing where, you know, we've been talking about something for a month. And then all of a sudden this team comes in, oh, all these questions about it, and waste like 15, 20 people's time. It's like you need to learn to control yourself, right? You should have asked these questions a month ago instead of coming. And then if you have questions now, then you should own that. Be like, look, I should have asked these. I'm going to take this offline and talk to these people. And I'm going to I'm, I'm going to invest my time in that instead of wasting everybody else's time. Learn to control yourself first. Again, had a similar situation in football, several, right? Usually the people that are the loudest and the ones that are complaining that, you know, because they don't, they don't stop. They don't say, Hey, look, I know Rob has invited feedback and that um, he's asked us to wait until we're not emotional, but you know what? The hell with it. I, if I'm mad, I'm just going to call him now and I'm going to vomit all over him. Nope. That's not how that works either. Learn to control yourself first. Right. And I see this a lot at football, right? Is there, there's a lot of parents who want to solve every, they want to fight every fight for their kid. They want to, they want to, to right every wrong, every injustice that they've felt in their life. It's not how it works, right? Learn to control yourself first. Like if you, if you try to fight every battle for your kids, your kids are going to grow up and they're going to be like, well, what do I do without my mommy? Exactly. Right. Then they're going to have a hard time. Like they don't know how to control, they don't know how to do anything because their mom and dad have been doing everything for them. So yeah, learn to control yourself first. I'm just convinced that the ability to control ourselves is fundamental to living a happy life. Because if we don't learn to control ourselves, it starts up here, right? And how's that look? Oh man, I've somehow been marginalized. I'm a victim. I'm not being treated fairly, blah, 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 blah. Look, I get it, right? We all have the same thoughts. It's a matter of maturity when you get to the point of like, you know what, just shut up. And you're saying that to yourself, like, Nobody cares. Just work harder. Just do your job. Just do the job that's in front of you instead of boohooing, moaning and groaning. Woe is me. My life is so difficult. 
No thanks. Not interested. Let's get to our thankies. Yeah, learn to control yourself first. Seriously, all right? Um, thankies. Number one, God is good. He's been good to us in the good times and the bad. Uh, thankful for the NFL, right? We had NFL. We had two NFL football games last night. I uh, really didn't watch much of either one because we had practice, but it's still fun to come home there on. And thankful for the Tulsa Police Department. Um, in this day and age where, look, I am not, I, yeah, I'm not a president. I'm not any of those things. And in, in like the macro economics and macro societal things, I'll leave those things to other people, right? So I agree that, that the way we police today needs to improve. Everything needs to improve, right? And so um, I'm just proud of the way the Tulsa Police Department has handled a very delicate situation uh, court order came out Friday that, that the, the body cam video from the two police officers who were shot by a guy at like 3.30 in the morning was released to the public yesterday. And so um, the next thank you was the mayor, right? The, mayor G.T. Bynum came and said, look, I understand the legal reasons for why we need to release this. That's fine. But don't watch it, right? Like the police chief said, it's like, look, only in this society right now would we allow this video to be released so that people can watch two police officers trying to do their job being executed? Think about that. He's like, you'd never, we would never release the video of a criminal being executed, but now this somehow is okay. He was quite upset about it. And uh, I enjoy, I, not enjoyed, I admired the passion. I admired his no BS approach, like this is wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then the, the, the mayor piped up like, look, we're doing what we got to do. This is pretty cut and dry, right? Um, and, I, you know, on the news this morning, they were showing parts of it. You know, they, they asked the kid 40 times to get out of the car, right? Just hiding a gun. Under, it's just awful, 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 awful. Um, which leads to my next one. I'm thankful for history, right? Like w another thing that's in the news here is that, that, you know, here in Tulsa, they're looking in these cemeteries to find these mass graves from the race riots. Because of history, because people refuse to allow that story to die, right? Kept telling it over and over. Like, whether it's in the history books or whether it was taught in school, it's still our history. And we need to honor it. We need to understand it. And we need to study it so we don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Uh, I put idiots. I'm thankful for idiots and bad parents, right? Because you got to have a comparison point. And sometimes, uh, at least for me, I need somebody to act like a total fool. And I'm like, oh, my God, I need to make sure that I never, ever behave that way. Serious, idiots and bad parents. Those are great examples of how not to act, right? Um, I'm thankful for sports, right? You know I love sports. They give us so many life lessons. Uh, and I'm thankful for whatever today brings. I'm thankful for whatever tomorrow brings. I'm thankful for it all. These are universal truths, right? Like if you want to be happy, you have to be thankful for what you have. And two plus two is always far, right? And bad parents and idiots are kind of synonymous, right? With that, we're done. Hands up, peace out, we're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a terrific Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow on a hump day. Hope. That's for you, Aunt Barb. We'll see you then. This is hashtag real talk. Love you guys. Bye.